Well, let's take a look at the binomial theorem. And the binomial theorem is how to expand this term. And that's just going to be equal to n choose 0 times a to the power of 0 times b to the power of n plus n uh, choose 1 times a to the power of uh, 1 times b to the power of n minus 1 and so on and so forth. So this is used as a sim uh, simple way of evaluating any term in this form here. And this is uh, the, short for the shorthand formula for it. And you really have to know this. So just know the for the, the way to represent it. And here are a few examples. So if you want to expand a plus b to the power of 4. So let's take it. Um, a plus b to the fourth. And our formula is the sum of i is equal to 0 to n and our n here is equal to 4 of n choose i so um, n choose let's put 4 there um, 4 choose one, uh, i times a to the power of i times b to the power of n minus i so 4 minus 1 or 4 minus i rather so 4 minus i. And by expanding this, you're going to get um, 4 to 0 of b to the 4th plus 4 choose 1 of a times b to the 3rd plus 4 choose 2 of a to the 2nd and b to the 2nd plus 4 choose 3 of a to the third and b plus 4 choose 4 times a and here a is to the power of 0 so it's equal to 1 and this is your answer for expanding this this term here okay so for the second part all we have to do is change our n so we get 2 so there's n and our a is going to be equal to a x and our y is going to be equal to b So by just replacing um, the variables in our formula, you can get so yes, let's see the sum of i is equal to zero, n is equal to two. You can see here we have two, and then you have n choose i, which is two choose one, times a to the power of i, times b to the power of n minus i. And in this case, our a is um, x and our b is y. So let's go ahead and replace them. So x and y. And that will be equal to 2 to 0 of x to the power of 0 and y to the power of um, 2 plus 2 choose 1 of x times y plus 2 choose 2 of x squared times y to the power of 0. And that's our result here. So the last example is going to be um, z plus 1 cubed. So we have z plus 1 cubed. Again, we'll just use the formula to get um, i is equal to 0 and n is equal to 3. So there's our n once again. And in this case, our a is going to be z and our b is going to be 1. So we have um, z to the power of n, or oh, sorry, z to the power of i times 1 to the power of um, n minus 1, n minus i. This is going to be equal to, by expanding this term here, you'll get um, 3 choose um, 0. Hold on, I actually forgot to include the choose term. Okay, I'll just rewrite it again. So you have um, 3 choose i of z to the power of i times 1 to the power of n minus i. So you have 3 choose 0 and z 
to the power of 0 times 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 1 times z to the power of 1 times 1 squared and the ones don't really count so you don't even have to write them so plus um, 3 choose 2 z squared times 1 plus 3 choose 3 of z cubed times 1 to the power of 0 and whenever you have this form here where it's only one term so let's just cancel out the ones you have z so whenever you have this form here where it's like z to the power of 0 z to the power of 1 and there is no second term so the b term is missing then um, this will be this will become um, you take whatever for a is so a plus 1 to the power of n where n is the term you're choosing so in this case it's going to be z plus 1 choose 3 you're going to need the you're going to have to convert it both ways so you, you should know how to get the, to get to this form here Alright, so here we have a combination problem and we have to show that for 0 smaller than or equal to j is smaller than or equal to n minus 1 you have n times n minus 1 choose j minus j plus 1 uh, times n choose j plus 1 we have to show that this here is equal to 0 so remember that for any term n choose r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial so the first thing you have to do is expand this term here so you get n times um, n minus 1 factorial so n minus 1 factorial divided by j factorial times n minus 1 mm, minus j factorial and then the, subtract j plus 1 multiplied by the second term here now so this is here let's see um, and you got um, n factorial divided by j plus 1 factorial times n minus j minus 1 factorial alright so if you multiply this n with n minus 1 factorial you're gonna get n factorial on top so just multiply this here so now n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 factorial which is the same same formula then you're gonna divide this by j then n, j factorial times n minus 1 minus j all factorial and on the second on the what's after is, uh, the minus sign you're gonna cancel j plus 1 with j plus 1 here so those two are gonna get cancelled out cancel those two out and you're gonna be left with j factorial so on the right hand side you're gonna have n factorial over j factorial times n minus j minus 1 all factorial and if you look at those two terms here so term 1 and term 2 they're exactly the same so if you subtract the same uh, terms so this cancel out with that and you're gonna have 0 left alright I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial